Bye. We're on show during Ballarat's first old trade exhibition on the weekend. Senator John Madigan joined more than 30 other exhibitors, showcasing his expertise as a blacksmith. The two-day event showcased a range of trades from blacksmiths to saddlers and whip makers. Visitors had the chance to ride a penny farthing and get a close-up look at a variety of handmade shoes and boots. I hand sew using methods from the late 1800s all the way back to the medieval ages, depending on what uh, style and era they're interested in. But they're, they're designed for everyday wear. While the shoes can take anywhere from one week to three months to make, Duncan McHarg says the end product is worth the effort. The prospect of being able to make something for someone that fits them like nothing they've ever had before. Stuart Slater started calligraphy as a hobby. It's 16 hours a day, seven days a week. It's, um, I have to have a pen in my hand. While some visitors reminisced about the past. It just brings back old skills and what talents people had in the past and where we are today. Others gained hands-on learning. I like how they made the things in the olden days. With more than 1,000 people attending the inaugural event, organisers hope it will become a permanent fixture on the calendar. This is our first year, so really it's about establishing the event. And I think the most amazing thing is that people have really loved coming along and watching a lot of these traditional skills, whether it's a blacksmith working or a wood turner. Emily White, with News. And Wes Cusworth joins us now with Sport. And Wes, it's a mixed bag from the weekend. That's right, Bruce. Thank you very much. Coming up tonight, the Roosters' winning streak continues and Bash Boy once again powers to victory in the Grand National Steeplechase.